if you give me another kiss. Mm -hmm. mm. Sam, mm -hmm. the kids will be pounding at the door any minute, and besides, my mother is coming to take them to camp. Mm -hmm. Sam. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Good morning, Mommy. You're supposed to knock. Go outside, girls. Close the door and knock. Can we come in? No. Sam, Sam. Come on, babies. Come on. Ah, how are my babies? Oh, oh it smells so good. Oh. Give me a big fat kiss. Oh, Sam, I'll put on the coffee. Jenna, you want to help me with the knives and forks and a raisin bread? If you can. Hey, good morning, Harry. How are you? Good. Sam, you're waking up. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sam! What? Oh, yeah. Morning, Sam. Oh. Hey, uh, I just returned your lawnmower. Thanks a lot. Oh, and your, your duck. Nothing got loose again. You know what happened? This duck got stuck in our breakfast nook with no one to talk to but my wife. Ah! <laughs> I know exactly how it feels, baby. The same thing happened to me once. Hey, Sam, about your lawnmower. Very much appreciated. Get your cutter blade sharpened by next weekend. Okay, pal? Yeah. You need a ride downtown? Uh, Min is going to take me down. Thanks, sir. All right. Well, see you at the office later, pal. Ah! Don't go back. Uh, Please, Mr. Stockton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. Honey, this is about the fifth time I've told you when you let Gretchen out in the morning to play with her, put her back in the pen. Now, I'll, run again. I'll, I will, it will happen. Sweetie, I did have time to fix your okay, eggs. I will as soon as I get this stuff back. Uh, Denise, let your grandmother in, honey. Okay. That's a lot of stuff for those two kids to be taking to camp. I know. Hello, Hello. 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 Hi, Mother. Hi, man. My goodness, they're taking all that to camp. Hello, Sam. Edna. Not dressed yet? Hi, Mother. Gee, it's sweet of you to take the kids to camp. I've got to go to the airport Hello, to Grandma. pick up this... Hello, <laughs> What were you saying? I've got to go to the airport to pick up this old school chum of mine, Janet Lagerloff. She's coming in from Europe this morning. Oh, how sad getting to work. Well, I'm going to take him to the office. He can ride home with Earl. Uh, Have some coffee. Uh, Come on, babies. Eat your cereal. Drink all your juice. You're not going to camp. Oh, Dad's made another one, huh? For the life of me, I can't understand why Sam builds these silly things. He enjoys it, Mother. That's reason enough. Sam's building a big mobile out in the patio. Where the neighbors can see it. Oh, for heaven's sake. You like it? Like it? What the hell is it? It's freeform sculptor like my others, only this is a... A masterpiece. See, when we have guests, they can sit in the living room and watch it move from there. See. Want me to turn it on for you? No, thank you. Isn't that Jenna's old bicycle frame in well, there? Yeah. And yeah. there's part of Min's sewing machine. Yeah, well, you see, uh, you're supposed to enjoy this as a total entity. You're not supposed to try and pick out individual parts. That's not the idea. I see. See, the idea of found object sculpture is to find beauty and enjoyment out of an arrangement of ordinary, everyday objects. Sam, dear, if fooling with junk makes you happy, then I say do it, no matter what anyone says. Thank you. Mother, you haven't fished your coffee? Oh, thank you, darling. We were just discussing Sam's junk here. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Sam is so clever with his hands. I just love it. Sam, it's a real work of art. I don't know a thing about art. I just know what I don't like. Oh, she didn't mean it. Mother, why do you say those things? Will you help me get the kids ready? Ah, 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 ah. Who asked you? Sam! Oh. Honey, it's time to kiss them goodbye. They're ready. Jenna, that's not nice. 
There, honey, you look good. Give me time. Good. You look real sweet. Be a good girl, dear. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, honey. Okay, in you get. Be good girls now and do everything that the counselors tell you and have fun. Don't push it, Dolly. Watch the leg. Okay. Goodbye, Edna. Drive slowly, will you, please? I tell you, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned grandmother for the kids to remember. Oh, come on, dear. I gotta get dressed, you gotta get dressed. I'm late for work. I can't tell you how excited I am about seeing Janet again. It's been, oh, uh, I don't know how many years since I've seen her. Well, she has a marvelous accent, Sam. She was raised in Europe and came over here for college. That's how we met. Sam, would you mind if I brought her home for dinner tonight? Sam? Hmm? Sam, have you heard anything I've been saying? I realize that I've been in the same traffic jam, going to the same job every day for six years, and, and so have they. Every day, all our husbands, we get up, and we take the same road into the same job. We even dress alike. We put on the gray suit and the hat and that button-down shirt and the tie and the... It's like sheep. Sam, that's not true. You're not like anybody else. And you're not a sheep, you, you've got character. And I love you. I wonder what's holding them up. Bah. Sam, did you say something? Here we go. Tonight. Yeah, goodbye, dear. Sam, are you depressed about something? No, I just, uh, bored, I guess, going to work. <laughs> you know, it's the same job and the same people, the same faces, and the same community pig pen for an office doing the same stupid layouts for the same stupid ads. And Sam, we do have two beautiful children, and we have to make a home for them. I know that. That's just one of those days, and don't worry about it. Because I'm going to be all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is Earl going to drive you home? Yeah. Goodbye, dear. Morning, men. Hi, Earl. Hi. Hi, Sam. Have a good day, honey. Bye, dear. Help yourself. Come on now, let's not be foolish about it. Let's go. Morning, boys. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Sonny. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Larry. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Earl. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning, Phil. Morning, Mr. Burke. Morning. Name? Bissell, Art Department. Morning, Bissell. Good morning, Mr. Burke. Larry, I uh, licked that dry Oh, my wife. Oh, my Oh, now, Mr. Nerdlinger is coming in for a look-see at our billboard campaign for him, as you know. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do is to edge him in with the billboard campaign, and then later, we'll slip him into some nice TV spots, like our Hertz Man in the Driver's Seat commercial. <laughs> All right, let's give him a good show today, shall we? We're ready for him, sir. No problem, Steve. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, girls. Morning. Morning. Let's go. Let's go. All right, fellas, we're going for a trade. Now settle down. Freeze off back there, please. No walking around. Close that big door over there, will you, please? Dave, you ready up there? Ready, Bob? Okay, roll it, please. Roll it, Jim. 
Here we go, Stu. And action. Here we go. Two bars for nothing. One, two, one, two, three. Let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. Let Hertz take you anywhere at all. By the hour, by the day, by the week, or any way, just let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. Let Hertz put you in the driver's seat. Hot. What are you doing up there, you bum? Listen, boss, this is the best I can do. I can't thing. do any better now. Put him in the driver's seat. That's the first one I dropped all year. Dave, I'm very sorry. Next time. Hey, Bob. Get out there. Look at that. Okay, how are those wires up there? I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Bernier. Bernier. Bernier, I have kids. Nice, man. Nice. Now just imagine, if you will, Mr. Nerdlinger, those signs blown up on your billboards 20 times over, and look how effective they are with the lights on them. <laughs> Sonny, I'd like to congratulate you on the artwork. It was brilliant. It grabs me if I'm any judge. <laughs> Darn good commercial empathy there. Yeah. Thank you. I felt it was simple and punched across our points. For the masculine way of life, nerdling her eggs. You know, it has. It's, it's got just the right curve. We, we imply it without actually hitting them over the head with it. Huh? You see, uh, Mr. Nerdlinger, what we're gearing up to here is to touch that psychological nerve in all men. The symbol of masculinity and fertility, the egg. You know, Harv, I like it. Well thought out. It's, hey, I don't know about you fellas, but after seeing this, I'm going to have eggs for lunch. <laughs> 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 He's going to have eggs for lunch. That's rich, Bill. That's rich. <laughs> well, sir, what do you think? Mm -hmm. You want to know what I think? Yes. <laughs> I think it's an abomination. Pure filth. I'm not a prudish man, sir. But I believe that the Almighty gave us good, clean, married, conjugal love for the purpose of raising families, not to sell eggs with dirty, salacious ads. Unchastity, fiendery, wenching, and fleshly lust. Is that the image that you have of my company? Certainly. Look at that bus sign. Sign. Harlots and popinjays to sell eggs. I tell you what I think of you. I think you're all rotten to the core, and I think I've chosen the wrong advertising agency. Just a minute, Mr. Nerdlinger. We are all good, clean family men now, here. don't try to fool me, sir. I'm an old man, but I'm nobody's fool, sir. Good, clean, living family man. Miss Halverson, I've run checks on you clean, living family men. There are dossiers on each of you. Mr. Blatchford, Mr. Reisner, Mr. Trilling, Mr. Burke, Mr. Foley, the Nerdlinger account executive. Little trips to Oakland twice a week, eh, Mr. Foley? Young secretary named... Oh, no, it's he... all here. All of you just as bad. Libertinism and liquor. Impurity and wantonness. Well, no, thank you, sir. We're good, clean family men at Nerdlinger Farms, and I won't have our company represented by boards and lectures and liberty. Come along. Mr. Nerdlinger, we are quite flexible now that we have the true picture. That was just one of a dozen good ideas. We could animate some eggs, Mr. Nerdlinger. Mr. Nerdlinger. Well, please, please, sir, sir give us another chance now that we've got the true picture. I don't want that dirty man on my advertising Mr. account. Oh, Mr. Nerdlinger, you can have anyone you want. We have a whole office full of good, upright, clean-living family men, sir. You wouldn't recognize a clean-living family man if you saw one. Well, very Mr. sensible. Nerdlinger, yes, give please. us another crack oh, at it. Oh, Mr. Nerdlinger. We are nothing if not facile here, Mr. Ner... Mr. Ner... Mr. Mr. Ner... Miss... Just one more chance. I am not going to take this lying down. There is a $600,000 account at stake. Now, please, come up with somebody. There must be someone. 
in this whole vast organization who can pass moral muster. A, a good husband, a good neighbor, a normal, everyday family man. Yeah. What is it, Bisson? Uh, Mr. Vernier, I've come to a decision. Vernier. Mr. Vernier, I've come to a decision. I will have been here six years as of next week. I've been pretty patient about waiting for a promotion. I just feel I'm not getting anywhere with my career. Take it up with personnel. Uh, well, I've made my mind up. I want to talk to Mr. Burke. You must be sick, Bissell. Nobody talks directly to Mr. Burke about a promotion. Hello. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Who? Mr. Bissell is here, sir. Send him right in, Gloria. What's his first name? Sam. Sam. Hello, Sam. Hi, Hi pal. Hi, Hi, boy. How's the family, Sam? We're fine, sir. Sam, I've just been telling you all the while, Mr. Burke, all about you and men and the kids and the ducks and... Oh, and those crazy things, you know, you build. Junk sculpture. It's sort of a hobby of mine. Better than some of the hobbies I could mention around here. Oh, Sam, won't you, won't you sit down? Sit down, Sam. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> now, let's talk a little cold turkey. Sam, what we have here at Burke and Hare is nothing, if not a completely democratic type of organization. You see, we like to help young people do bigger things. So, I said to the fellas, Fellas, let's look around for a young, energetic, clean living, family type, nice fella to head up the Nerdlinger dairy accounts. And Sam, I'll bet you a dollar to a donut. You can't guess who we came up with. Who? Mm -hmm. Mr. Nerdlinger, yeah. this is Sam Bissell. How do you do, Mr. Do, Bissell? Sir. Uh, show Mr. Nerdlinger those snapshots of your children, Sam. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Denise, and there's Jenna, <laughs> our duck. You keep ducks? Oh, yes, he loves animals. Dogs, cats, ducks, you name it. His whole life revolves around his family and that duck. Now, don't try and pull anything over on me, sir. I'll have him investigated, too. This is the genuine article, Mr. Nerdlinger. Good husband, good neighbor. A clean, living family man, if you ever met one. Well, come along, Bissell. We'll give you the indoctrination to him. Go ahead, Sam. Takes about five minutes to milk the average cow. Milk flows through those stainless steel tubes into the holding tanks, then it's pasteurized and bottled, without human hands touching it. Now, that's the image we want to convey, a responsible firm dealing in a wholesome, superior product. I don't pretend to know anything about advertising, but what I can do is to give you a true picture of what our company stands for. We're plain, everyday people dealing in a plain, clean, everyday product. We deal in chickens, eggs, and milk. Simplicity, purity, truth. Perhaps, Mr. Bissell, just a plain white billboard. And across it, in plain gold letters, Nerdlinger's eggs have bigger yolks. Simplicity. And in the upper left-hand corner, a picture of me. Truth. What do you think of it? Oh, it's something to put in the forge and mong a little, I'd say. I like it. So do I. I do, too. All right, Mr. Bissell, what do you think of the idea? Frankly, sir, I don't like it at all. What, what are we uh, <clears throat> talking about here? We're talking about milk, correct? It's the simplest and most basic of foods. I think advertising should be just as simple and basic as the product that you're trying to sell. I think we ought to strip away the sham and pretension from advertising. It, who buys your products, your eggs and your milk and chickens, Mr. Nerdlinger? Why, uh, people. Exactly. People. Just human beings, ordinary, plain people. Well, I think we ought to uh, maybe have candid shots of people and real people, not actors or models, and put them up on the billboard. And the, the copy should simply read Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Godfrey Hotchkiss, or whatever their name might be, say nerdlinger products are better and that's all period order up the billboards burke i buy it 100 <laughs> percent in the face of such honesty and truth i feel somewhat diminished <laughs> beautiful conception clean and true I, genius I, this may start a whole new trend in advertising you're my man <laughs> Oh, my God, I can't believe it. How are you? Oh, I'm so happy.
You look see. wonderful. You're wonderful. Hey, is that real? Yes. Oh, where'd you get that suit? It's marvelous. I picked it up in Paris on the way over. In Paris? Have you been living in Paris? Yes, well, I'll tell you all about it. Let's get my luggage and I and and, and let's have a lunch. Oh, marvelous. No? Such a good idea. This is Paris. Yes. Voici mademoiselle à 53. Très fin, très rare. Je suis sûr que vous l'aimerez. Merci. Mm -hmm. C'est bon, hein? Très bon. Ah, oui. Gosh, I am so envious of you living all over the world. What a life you lead. You realize? No, no complaints. I adore my life. Do you remember when I always said in school there are some girls born to be single? Well, I'm one of them. I just love being free. Not that marriage isn't good for other girls. It obviously agrees with you, Min. You know, I expected you to look all uh, married and plump and I don't know. You're divine. I, I felt so bad when I heard about you and Howard getting a divorce. I don't know, somehow I expect you look different. What? With dark circles under my tear-stained eyes? It's something like that, yeah. <laughs> I tell you something, Min. Every girl should be married to Howard Ebbets, at least once. It is like hitting your head against the wall. It feels so good when it stops. <laughs> Leaving him was the most wonderful thing ever happened to me. It absolutely restored my faith in divorce. But looking at you, all so happy and shining and... Well, I don't know. Wait till you meet Sam, you'll understand. <laughs> Thanks, Earl. Yeah, hey, I wish I could see Min's face when you tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Hey, remember, think milk. Yeah. See you tomorrow. All right. Hey, honey, guess what? Where are you? Min? made a fool out of myself with your friend Janet in the shower there. In the shower? In the shower. What the heck is she doing here, anyway? Oh, now, Sam, I invited her. Now, now, don't be like that. I want her to well, meet you. Just, She's my guest. Of... Oh, Jan, Jan. Uh, I guess there's really no point in introducing no. you two, but Jan, this is my husband, Sam. Sam, this is Janet. We met. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. But don't that. be. I... I think it's divine. Does he come home every evening with roses? For me? Oh, no. Yeah, well, it's a special occasion. Why? You see, I've been trying to tell somebody this ever since I got home. Dear, you're looking at the new account executive for the Nerdlinger Dairy account. Me, Sam. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Well, you got some champagne to celebrate. But, but, I, I don't know what it is, an account executive. Oh, what? it's a very important job. He has charge of all the advertising for his company. Oh. Honey, oh. when did you find out? Well, I, I was going up to the office to ask for a raise, and before I could say anything, Mr. Burke just gave me the job. I guess, I don't know, nerdling is a very strange... Hey, I have a marvelous idea. Why don't we celebrate and go out to dinner tonight? Yes. Oh, fine. Go ahead. You two get dressed and then I'll shave yes, afterwards. Yes, okay. Mm. You can use the shower now, right? Thanks, Mom.
Oh, Sa Sam, you know, it's almost like, like uh, Jean Tingli in Paris, so oh, you know him? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's you're a genius. Oh, I'm I'm Life is wonderful. <laughs> Do you? I think we should go out more often. <laughs> more wine, sir? Huh? More wine. Oh, no, good thinking. That's all. Oh. Say, I have a wonderful idea. Yeah? Why doesn't Jan spend the night with us? That way she'll be there in the morning when the moving vans arrive. Oh, very good thinking. Any money? No, I, I know it tomorrow. The lawyers are coming over to talk. Now listen, we are not here to talk about lawyers. Let's speak about our account executive. But we. <laughs> Is champ uh, is uh, milk? You know, just good, clean, living, wholesome. Would everybody here from Ohio please raise their hand? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. Are you all right? I just fell out of bed. Oh. <laughs> just a plane every day.
Thank you. Good morning, Sam. Hi. It was a wonderful evening. Yeah, you've met around. But hi, sweetie. How do you feel? What happened? Well, a certain clean living family man rolled all the way down the main staircase in the Fairmount Hotel last night so and caused quite a commotion. Oh, no. Yes, it's too. Janet? Oh, Hello, darling. Oh, Irene Krupp and Jack Bailey, who incidentally have already been to see me inquiring about the will. But I don't think there's any problem there, provided you effect a reconciliation with Howard as soon as possible. Provided I what? There's a codicil in your grandfather's will which stipulates that in order to qualify for the inheritance, your marriage must be sound and effective. If somebody does find out they aren't living together, they could contest the will. Who would do a thing like that? With $15 million at stake, my dear, relatives come out of the woodwork you'll find. Oh, you mean Irene and Jack? Exactly. How could they possibly know Howard and I were divorced? Well, there are such things as private investigators, you know. Well, let's not anticipate trouble. If no one brings up the question of Howard, things should go smoothly. Please, in the bedroom. Thank you. him sitting in it just before I die. Now, now, my dear, don't upset yourself. May I sit down? Yes, of course.
we were speaking about, remember, darling? By golly, Howard, it's good to meet you after all these years. Well, Howard, dear. So you're the lucky man who got Janet. Please, sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry about all this mess, but you know, we just moved in this morning, didn't we, dear? We just moved in this morning, didn't we, dear? We understand. It'll be lovely. Someday. Turn this time, you know. Hey, where is Sam? I went through Ross instead of Sam. You know, 25 years ago, there was anything like the population in this county that there is now. Must be very inconvenient for you living way out here. Oh, are you sure nobody wants some coffee? No, thank you. Goodbye, Mrs. Bissell. So nice to have met you, dear. Oh, I just live over here. Goodbye. Say hi to Sam. <laughs> Well, goodbye, dear. I'm glad to see goodbye. that you're so happy. Bye, Irene. See you soon. All right. Glad to have met you. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. That was the craziest oh. thing I've ever been through. Sam, you were brilliant. Just oh. brilliant. And by the way, thank you. Oh, that's all. I, I think they know about that will. That's why they came here. Well, of course. I saw it immediately when they came in. Yeah. Uh, I think we fooled them, though. We are I forgot my socks. You forgot? You... Follow them. Why? I can give you 15 million reasons why. Now hurry up and follow them. Uh, Sam, please put that in the bag.
<laughs> Good morning, you beautiful, beautiful. Missile. I am charmed. Allow me to help you. Careful with your skirt. You know, your Sam is a big favorite with us around here. Oh, I want you to come and meet Mr. Nerdy. I'd love He's to. our toughest client. Sam's the only one who can handle it. Oh, really? <laughs> Let's try and shave a little closer, Sam. Mr. Nerdling. Oh, good morning, Mr. Nerdling. Good morning, madam. I'm delighted to meet you. Morning, Sam. Oh, morning, sir. Sunny, fellas. Morning, Sam. Morning, morning Sam. Sam. I wonder if you'd give us the pleasure of having dinner with Mrs. Nerdling and me tonight. I know she'd like to meet you both. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have to call my wife at home to see if she's made any other plans. Call home? What are you talking about? Oh, we'd love to go to your house for having dinner, wouldn't we, Sam? Oh, boy. About uh, 8 o'clock, then. Oh, and Sam, we always dress for dinner. Black tie. Delighted to have met you. Such a great pleasure to know you. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Now remember, normal pictures. Right. Everyday people. Good. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Bye-bye. This thing is getting a little out of hand. Don't you think? Goodbye, my darling. Huh? Goodbye, gentlemen. Pleasure meeting you. Bye. Bye. Bye, darling.
Uh, they play for Jolly Beans. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> you know, a man needs a foundation on which to build. Right, it's that truck. Probably a guy sitting there parked with his girl. Not on a residential street. Can you read what it says on the truck? to do this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Morning, Mr. Abbott. Jan. Uh, hi there, the Mrs. Abyssal. I forgot my socks again. We are being worse. Can't you feel it? Carrigan? Oh, getting some sensational yeah. shots, Mr. Burke. Real weirdos. No, no, wait. Nerdlinger does not want weirdos. Normal, everyday people, Carrigan. Oh, I got you. Listen, Min and you, you've been so upset. I'm going to give you a million dollars. Uh, well, listen, you... if it hadn't been for you and Min, I would have never got the 15 million. You know that. And make the arrangements. Yeah, well, well I... Oh, I don't like that. Well, this one has a lot of decency. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no, that Here's is the norm, Mark. Terrible is the norm. Terrible, oh, terrible, terrible. They are all terrible. Not one of them typifies the clean-cut spirit of this campaign. Am I right, Sam? S Sam? Sam? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, sir. Would you please explain to these dunderheads for the 10,000th time the kind of people we want to see up here on this billboard? Plain, simple, clean-cut, ordinary, everyday millionaires. What? People. Average, nice-looking people. There you are, fellas. Thanks, Sam.
me some time. What do you usually do when you come home from work? Well, men usually makes me a martini. All right, I make you a martini. Get comfortable. <laughs> So, mm, please? Mm, I'm full, really. Good morning. Sam, Thank Min, you. Mm. what's the time? Oh, nine o'clock. Excuse me. Be careful. Thanks for dinner. I'll see you in a little while. See you later. She's eaten. She was cooking just for her. I'm starving to test, oh, dear. Okay, honey. Sit down. Yeah. Here are the rolls. Heavy layer of mozzarella cheese. Just the way you like it. Boy. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Oh, that's plenty.
Be careful. Yeah. Good night, love. Oh, isn't this awful? Huh? Here I am kissing you goodnight, and you're going across to spend the night with another woman. Sam, I fixed your bed in here. Is that all right for yeah, you? Yeah, perfect, thanks. What do we do if he shows up? Oh, don't worry about that. Well, that's what I'm here for. All right. Uh, here's a pair of my husband's pajamas and, and the towels. The bathroom is there. If you need anything else, just help yourself. Oh, And thank you. I do appreciate that. You're the sweetest man I've ever known. <laughs> Good night. Good Sleep night. well. Thank you. No wonder that marriage broke then. Be careful. <laughs> Everybody knows the kind of man I am, for heaven's sake. I'm a family man, I'm decent. I wonder why she left her door open. I do. Oh? And so do you. No, Sam, I don't know. I... Yes. It's oh, wonderful. No, 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 no,
It's my husband. You are what? It's my husband. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, you're just I didn't have it. Oh, just. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Are you all right? Yes. I didn't know. Are you all right? I should. Tell me. Did you hurt yourself? No. Oh, I'm Let me go to clarify this. My wife loaned me, so to speak, to Janet, but only so that she would qualify to get her inheritance under it. Yes, and don't pretend you didn't know. Well, no, I... Oh, I didn't. It dawns on me why you suddenly showed up out of... Right. Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. 
know, it's going to be cold out there on that patio. Why don't you take a blanket? Uh, oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but uh, huh? Janet's husband, I, you see, I've been out yeah, here. You're on, Janet? Cold, yeah. Oh, I'm right. sorry. I thought I'd come in and get some coffee. <laughs> I thought you were coming. Howard is expecting you to drive him to work. He is? Yes. Oh. Now, please eat your toast. You'll be late. Oh, I'm not hungry. He isn't uh, 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 men's type. No, never. He'll be never men's type. <laughs> You're funny. Talks like a parrot. Would you mind not slamming the door quite so hard? Oh, now don't tell me how to slam the door on my own car. Your car? Yeah, I have new... Well, Min has lost her mind. Dear, did you have to give him my underwear and one of my good shirts and my best socks? Well, what else could I do? The poor man was all grubby from waiting outside in the patio, and his spirits were so low. Well, you know what a lift it is to put on clean clothes after a shower. Sam, you are jealous. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's... Up. Oh, Just a minute. Sorry, I'm what? Sorry. There's a big confusion down there. What they, is... they think that girl is Min. What girl? What the girl I saw you hugging and kissing on the... Shh. 
the girl on the street. You are hugging, kissing her. Burke yes. thinks she's your wife. Well, you, you be quiet. It's all part of a plan. And don't you try to figure it out. I'll tell you about it. You're good to be home. Yeah. I wonder what little Mimsy's got for dinner tonight. Sam! <clears throat> believe that. You know what kills me? That toupee that he's wearing. That is a toupee, isn't it? No, it's his own hair. Oh, well, then he must go to a hairstylist or something. He wouldn't go to a regular barber. Anybody with a head of hair like that's got to go to a hairstylist. He's just vain, huh? You have to fight him to get to a mirror. That's a sad facet of American life. Oh, no, he wasn't a mama's boy. It was quite the contrary. Did you have any mambo records? And chat. Well, of course I'm all right. What do you mean? I miss you, dear. What are you doing? Oh, Howie and I are going to play cards. He's really a lot of fun, Sam.
All right, now that that's all settled, what do you say we have a nightcap? Uh, uh, Sam, what can I get you? Oh, I'll get it. Uh, no, no, I'm just trying to be the gracious host. I uh, see. Well, I think I can get my own drink in my own house. Let's not squabble. I'll get the drinks. Jan? I don't care for anything. Howie, soda. Uh, Scotch and soda, right? Yeah, no, water. Oh, sorry. I'll help you, honey. Okay. Sam, you want to get another tray of cubes? Yes. Please. If anything happens to that marriage, I'll hold you personally responsible, Howard Ebbets. Me? Yes, you. Oh, now, look, you're the one who started this whole nutty thing. You are the one who came in bursting in the night, in the middle of the night. Oh, boy, I always knew how selfish and totally self-centered you were. But I never thought you'd stoop to endangering a beautiful marriage like the Bissells out of pure greed. Oh. Well, has he or hasn't he? Well, look, don't just give me a look. It's not such a ridiculous question. For your information, he is known. When is this all gonna be over, huh? I don't know, pretty soon. I keep on thinking about the million dollars. Mm -hmm. oh, trip around the world, leave. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the guy in the truck? Yeah, there's a full moon out. I, I have a plan. Yeah, what's that? I will go home with Janet and go straight out on the patio. Uh, look, we were the first to be recruited. I don't we were the first. In... Let's not quibble. We're going to spend the night with our wives.
OSS man. I was the duck, not me. So wake up the whole neighborhood. Are you kidding? You think someone's gonna be asleep after a racket like that? Why my glasses? What's going on over there, Sam? Who's that? What? Oh, Al, I, uh, Al, nothing. It's, I'm sorry. Hi, the, the detective didn't miss any of Shh, the detective. You better oh. come back, Sam. Oh, good morning, Mr. Bissell. You folks work it out. I've met you, Mrs. Evans. I don't oh, think you have had some experience in this sort of thing. We want justice. We want to get our hands on you. I don't care what you say. We made it. Sam, I'm rich. I want to go out and buy everything. Well, you can. Bad clue. It ain't Mr. and Mrs. Abraham Lincoln. No. Well, who is it? It happens. Sam! Just the fellow we've been waiting for. Sam, come in, come in, come in, come in. There's somebody here just dying to see you. Sam, look who's here. No, Sam. To stand up on your two feet and say no to me. To say that my idea was wrong. Well, sir, I'm here with my hat in hand to say the two are right. You struck the keynote of... I've been meaning to speak to both of you about uh, leaving. Leaving? What do you mean? Leaving? Another agency, more money, Sam? Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that, sir. It's just I came into an unexpected windfall, an inheritance, and I was thinking of retiring. Retiring? You can't retire. You're my man. You're my account executive. No. Speak to him, Bert. Sam, 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 you must be joshing. You can no more quit the excitement of this business than you can quit breathing. Yes, yes it's okay. exciting, all right, but you see, I have all this money. Money? Now, what I is don't... money, Sam? Come right over yes. here. Look, look at that. out that. Look at that billboard, huh? Is oh. that magnificent? Is yeah. any yeah. amount of money, Sam, in this world to take the place of you saying, I did that? I, 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 Sam Bissell, created that beautiful, yes. glorious, wonderful, wholesome right. billboard? It's a
Hi there. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you now. Oh, wait a minute, friend. This is important. <laughs> Know me, but I can assure you I know you, Mr. Sneaky between the houses. <laughs> Reinhold Schiffner, private investigator. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what you want, but I'm in a big Scandal hurry. Scandal is I not can... a very pretty word, sir. I've been watching you off and on since Tuesday night, you know. Come on, get right in there. The car is a marvelous place to conduct private business. Hard. Well, the pictures are for sale, Mr. Rabbit. Say 500 bucks. After all, you wouldn't be sneaking around if you didn't want it kept quiet. I'll meet you tomorrow night down in the lobby again. I guess they'd be worth a lot more than that if I wasn't Howard Everts. <laughs> right. They'd be worth millions to her cousins and a big fat bonus for me.
Man, young man. Sam, what's wrong? You don't believe huh? it. I met that nutty private investigator. I don't know where they got him, but there's billboards what? all over town. Me and what are Janet. You be there's no time to lose. Come on, dear. Sam? Hurry up. Sam, what are you talking about? Just a minute, I've lost my Come shoe. on, dear, I'll explain later. We gotta get Janet. Sam. You know, now that this is over and you're gonna get the money, I well, I think you're right. We should stay separated. Yeah, you'd never believe that I love you and want you only for yourself. Let's just say goodbye quietly. And uh, I wish you the world of happiness and... Again. Jan! Jan, don't come back here! Don't get tangled with that nut again! Janet! Janet, you can't go around damaging private property. They'll throw you in jail. And what what happens with my inheritance? Forget it. We If you go, I won't be here when you come back. Man, you don't mean that, and you know it. I've got to go! Sam? Are you gonna come or not? Oh.
And look at that dreadful photograph of me. But I, I don't have a face thin like that. This is no time to start admiring yourself. Get going. What's going on out there? Um, well, uh, we're underpaid school teachers and I have to moonlight to feed my wife and children. Hello, good, good morning. She's a school teacher? <laughs> uh, uh, girls hygiene.
Twenty bucks. Twenty? Twenty bucks, buddy. Fourth floor, room 434. Use that elevator over there. Thing, but but this is a new one on me. You, you lay a paintbrush on me, and I'm gonna scream this joint down. You don't let shh. You're a psychiatric you case. That's what you are. Say, well, please. Oh boy, you keep away from me. I'm gonna tell Frankie. He'll think. No, you're... don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> of the world. He came in and checked into your hotel to get away from the hustle and bustle of the world to do some serious painting. No kidding. Been away and I, I, I...
Howard? I just want you to know that I know why you say you want me back. Really? Yes. Yeah, but not before I give you something you've had coming to you for a long time. A good, swift kick in the hind end. Ah! You wouldn't dare! <laughs> Right.